done with the trouble. I want to present to you my four grandchildren. The little one over here being the one that kind of keeps us all going, she's probably the most active of the bunch is Macy Williams. Hold up your hand there, Macy, so that's the way. And then the next one is Brooke Parker, and then Tyler Williams and Mandy Parker. She's the oldest and seems to be the biggest talker of the bunch, so Mandy, you can talk to me on this interview. What do you think about this occasion that we're presenting? Well, I know it's been a great thing, and we're all excited about it, and we know it's been a dream that you've always wanted to fulfill, right. and we're just glad that the Lord's allowed this to come so that you could work with it and do it the best way that you could, and we've always tried to support you the best that we, you have. And I know that. What do you think about this great talent lineup that we've assembled right here in the big city of Aroni, Alabama? Well, you know, I never realized the talent that we do have, Absolutely. but it is great and wonderful, and it's very amazing. The rehearsals has been great, and everybody's just pulled through, and we're just really blessed that this mm -hmm. has worked out the way it has. I want to present two gentlemen to you that's had a great part to do with the production of this video, and the two first people that I ever mentioned it to, and I kind of thought they'd talk me out of it, but neither of them did. They encouraged it. One of them being Brother Gary Williams, my pastor, for the past four years, and the uh, first comment he made that we should have already done it. So, uh, uh, Brother Gary, you might have some comments to make about this occasion at this time. Well, certainly, Brother Jimmy, we're thrilled at this part of the program and looking forward to the service tonight. We're grateful for how God's used you in this community throughout the years, and then, of course, what He's doing even with your life presently, and we're just looking forward to what God's going to do in the service tonight, this video being not only for the service of this community, but looking forward to hearing great things come about. And we're privileged to work with you and Brother Wayne, a sister in church, and we're honored to be your pastor and be with you at this present time. Well, it's, it's an honor to have you in that position. This other fellow, is Brother Gary's already touched on, is pastor at Bethlehem Baptist Church and over at Smith Institute. And, uh, he's also a cousin of mine, and sometimes he kind of tells some bad stories on me. He's known me a lot longer, Brother Gary, than you have. So, Brother Wayne White, we're certainly privileged to have you aboard. Brother Jimmy, we appreciate the opportunity to be a part of this, and we know God is blessing in it. And we have known Brother Jimmy a long time, and he's touched a lot of people's lives in this community. He's excelled in the music business, started out just a young boy, his mother and daddy urged him to go on and started at an early age and he stayed with it and he's been faithful and God's really used this man in a mighty way, not only in our area but in other areas. And yes. we have several funny stories we could tell about Brother Jimmy that's been shared to us through the years with my dad and his dad. but. What we want to focus on here is honoring the Lord and exalting His name Amen. together. So we appreciate you, Brother Jimmy, all the efforts you've went to and the hard work you've done, and I believe it's going to pay, pay great dividends for the Lord. Here comes a fellow right now that I've known all of his life. So the way I better say it. I'm a little bit older than he is. One of the greatest fellows that I've ever had the opportunity of knowing. Great piano player, great singer and one of the most sought after evangelists anywhere in this area of the country. And I want you to really make welcome right now, Brother Roger Watkins, as he comes. <laughs>
leaves us evermore the same. What a lovely name. Oh, what a lovely name, this name of Jesus, reaching higher far.
The Lord is my shepherd. He watches wherever I go. And when the way seems dark and dreary, He's right beside me, I know.
I know you enjoyed that great number. Young lady that grew up about two doors from me, she's kind of anxious to get on tonight. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I'll grant you, when she gets on, you, you've never heard better. She's one of the best piano players in this country, not in Alabama or on Sand Mountain, but anywhere you go, and equally as good a voice. Nina, I want you to come and sing that great song, I Know a Man Who Can. Let's really make her welcome as she comes to sing. I've got, uh, my wife told me when we started planning this video, she wanted to be on it. <laughs> and then she said, a little later, said, well, I tell you, our youngest son-in-law likes to get attention so well, let's let him be on it instead of me. <laughs> so I have no idea what he's coming to say or do. But... Uh, no, I left it home. But he's coming to mic. Steve Williams, if you want to give him just a little welcome, he enjoys it a lot, you know. Reckon you'll ever get that on? Well, he said he's going to that Wayne's Men's store and buy me a nice jacket today. <laughs> and you come through a barbed wire fence with that, didn't you? Well, I understand now what uh, Chuck Odell used to say. He said, Jimmy Wofford's the only guy that I know of has got 10 son-in-laws. He said, Jerry Parker is number one and you're number zero. So I know now what he meant. Yeah, you got that right. 
my, the thing I can't understand, my wife loves them both. <laughs> well, you know, there's some pretty old people in here. Now, how many of y'all have known Jimmy Wofford all your life? Mm. What about your life? He looks a little older than y'all does. <laughs> I got worried tonight when I seen the makeup had run off the back and run down on his collar tonight. I know he was losing a little hair on top tonight, so. But I'll never forget, uh, oh, I guess. I hate he, I put you on. I'll never forget uh, how I learned he went to play in the piano. His dad told me when I first come around about 15 years ago, he said, uh, Steve said, I'd just like to tell you what happened, why Jimmy's trying to play the piano. And I said, well, I'd like to know. Because I'm tired of hearing him. Every time we eat, we had to listen to him play the piano. So he said one day he was about nine or eight, eight or nine years old, and he wanted to be a farmer. I want to be a farmer. That's all he had in his mind was farming. And his dad knew he couldn't farm. <laughs> well, about 10 years old, he put him on the tractor. And he said, I want you to plow all that 40 acres out there, lay that corn by. He plowed two days, and he's the only guy in Aaron that's ever plowed two days without a cultivator. I didn't think that was that funny. Well, he went back and let him plow one more time, and he done a good job. He plowed up at 40 acres with a cultivator and the neighbor's 20 acres. So that ended his plowing. He said, son, you've got to do something a little different. So he said, I'm going to let you go to singing school and see if you can learn how to play a piano. And it was about 10 years later, we were sitting there one afternoon and I'd heard him play. It was in the springtime. He'd raise the windows. And I'm sure all of y'all probably went by his house and he'd been there playing that piano, just driving you crazy. And I was sitting there and he was all playing that piano and this man come knocked on the door and said, had his little tote, to, tote bag with him. He said, uh, keep it straight now. Well, it's been so long, I can't remember. But anyway, he said, I've come to tune your piano. And he said, I didn't call nobody to tune the piano. He said, well, Nina Cash did. <laughs> <laughs> Two doors down and heard some bad news. <clears throat> Well, I better get on with it. We're going we're gonna to try to get him on key here. Do you want me to sing or get you no, on I'd key? I'd rather you just sit down. <laughs> Jared, will you give us key and let's get him? He's going to try to play Give the World a Smile. That ain't the right key. Well, how would you? Okay, let's give him a good hand. Singing now, just a little talk with Jesus. Mm -hmm. 